Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at the energies for your next 7 days. What needs your attention? 4 of Swords, Temperance, 4 of Cups, 6 of Swords. Guys, some of you are sleeping on a decision, it seems, uh, when it comes to a romantic situation that is not exactly flowing or a work situation that may not be that fulfilling anymore. We got the Empress as our focus, so we can think about growth, development, and the opportunity to expand. If this is not possible, we have to acknowledge that and we have to redirect ourselves. The Oracle cards that we got are meaningful. Distant Thunder, we can think about problems, something that maybe has already happened, something that can happen again, because there is a pattern that is not quite right. Unknown territory, questions, doubts, things that we cannot understand. The Four of Swords is important if we think about an introspection. What we should avoid is the risk to procrastinate a decision when in reality we already know that the situation is not for us anymore. The Temperance is an energy about patience. Some of you have already closed an eye about something that you do not like. I am not sure that you can keep doing that. So surrendering to the journey is about releasing control and this can be necessary because we may have to let go of a situation. Vast vistas, expand your horizons. Some of you will have to think out of the box because you may very well have the chance to deal with someone that is not paying attention, the Four of Cups energy. So maybe a romantic partner that is not focused on the connection in the most productive way. And if we think about a job, maybe you have something to offer, something tangible to offer, but someone around you, let's say, is not paying attention. It's like they cannot see you. And so if you have to give up your potential, this is not wise, you know, this is not something that we should ask for. That's why the Six of Swords can be about movement, but in a different direction. Guys, let me see. Let me see the Four of Swords, the Temperance combination of energies, because the lady in the Four of Swords is sleeping, but I am always drawn to the webs that we have in the card, because it's like a passive approach, you know? And so instead, some of you may have to become way more proactive if we think about the situation. Ten of Cups, ultimate emotional fulfillment, fulfillment of art and soul. Thinking about it, but maybe it's not here especially in the romantic scenario. If we think about a job, do you see a positive future in the current situation? The status quo may not be really a plus. And so this is an exercise in patience and almost a balancing act following the temperance, but you may be in a work environment that uh, doesn't allow you to shine in the brightest possible way. Ace of Pentacles. It can be a matter of commitment when it comes to a romantic situation. Maybe the other person doesn't hear you when it comes to this topic. If we think about a job, maybe you desire a promotion, something that can boost your finances. But if it is not coming, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait for it, kind of for who knows how long? Or are you going to look for other opportunities, maybe? It's a process, of course. We cannot rush it. But this is about expectations and even the risk to settle for a small situation. Ace of Wands, creative endeavors if we think about career, kind of sex if we think about a romantic connection, guys. The Ace of Wands can be available. I am not sure that it can be enough for those of you that can resonate with that type of scenario. The Empress is pregnant in this version of the card, so kind of be careful, you know, because if this becomes a factor, even the opportunity to make a different decision about a romantic connection later on can be something more challenging. 
guys, the job can fade away because you can move in a different direction, it seems. And even the romantic connection, especially if there are commitment issues involved, can be left behind. I am not saying that it's going to be easy. Chances are the transition may sting, but there can be more problems kind of hidden behind the curtains. And some of you have already managed to get a glimpse about those problems along the situation. That's why your decision can even be a little bit easier, you know? What you don't see coming, Knight of Wands, the Lovers, the Four of Wands and the Two of Wands. This is a major, major crossroads for some of you guys. It seems to be a romantic situation, this one, because you may have the chance to interact with a new person that can be involved in another relationship, but the two of you can click immediately. And as a consequence, a major temptation comes up if we think about the opportunity to give space to this new connection. The level of attraction between you and this person can be off the chart. You have to be careful because the Knight of Wands in this version is facing the opportunity to have a dragon in front of him. So it is true that the knight may have the chance to take on the dragon. He has the talent to do that, but this is a major gamble. This is a major risk. And this is not a calculated risk, you know, because the four ones that we got can describe a celebration in this version. But if we follow the Empress, there is a family, there is a family in the midst of this interaction that some of you can basically have to handle with a person of interest. And so unknown territory can be a set of questions that pertains to this connection, extremely powerful. Uh, the spark can be almost irresistible, but some of you may have to resist the temptation. Distant thunder, there can be problems, guys. And I want to say another thing that is coming to my mind right now. Distant thunder, it can follow the Tower Major Arcana. The man in the Two of Wands in this version seems to be on almost a tower. The decision can bring the tower down especially if this kind of secret connection takes off and the official partner of your personal interest finds out. The Empress is interesting, guys, because it can be an energy about growth and development. Yes, this can be the official partner of your personal interest. There is a family. There can be a baby, maybe already involved in the picture, maybe a baby that is coming. Some of you may have to be careful. Vast vistas. The other person can ask you guys to be confined inside of a box because there is no real space for the connection to be embraced positively. Let me see guys the Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, combination of energies. Look, Tower Energy, my goodness. This is a warning, guys, on an energy level. If you realize that a person of interest is not free because they are in another relationship, they can say that the situation is not the one that they want, whatever. You get the jazz. I mean, kind of the same old words can be said in order to work an angle, in order to achieve something, you know? It's not good. The attraction can be real, yes, but even the problems can become real. King of Wands. You can be chased by the other person. 
but the opportunity to give them the green light can become a major gamble, a major risk, even a decision that some of you can regret. So you have to take everything into consideration because if we make the decision to look for problems, chances are we are going to find them. Word, more than just an advice. The opportunity to close the situation before it can become something real. There is the word in the two of ones. The Empress again. And the Four of Cups, turning down an offer. Guys, I am kind of encouraged by these energies because they can describe a progression in favor of those of you smart and wise enough to realize that if you give the green light to this suitor that can be involved in another relationship, only problems can land in your life. And this is something that we should try our best to avoid. Somehow, some way, I have to say, this person, your person of interest, can find certain similarity between you and their official partner. I am looking at the two empresses on the table. It's a dangerous game, this one. And the opportunity to have some good sex only for the pleasure to do it doesn't seem to be a sufficient reason to take this chance, take this risk, you know? It's too big. The connection should be released. Release. Release control. Release control, but meaning the situation is too risky. I do not want to face problems that can be just around the corner, so thank you, I am flattered for the offer. I am not going to accept it because this can become a third party situation, the three cups down below. And some of you may receive the offer, but may find the strength, the willpower, the integrity, the self-respect to turn it down because only problems can come up. And then you think about the future, vast vistas, you look for different horizons that can be way better and more beneficial for you. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.